Murals are popping up in Fall River that represent much more than works of art. They are very colorful at that. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh explains the reason behind the Viva Murals project. We're on top of the old Herald News building in Fall River to give you a closer look at these artists at work. They've been working throughout the heat wave to make sure this new mural gets done. And we found out this is the culmination of a lot of thought and collaboration among many organizations across the state. We're kind of like wrapping ourselves in public art. Driving west on 195, this Viva Fall River mural has captured your attention. You can say, oh, there's blank walls, but those can always be filled with, with vibrancy. Now driving east over the Bragger Bridge, you're witnessing a vibrant new addition being painted onto Fall River skyline. He does this piece that's just readily identifiable by anyone that's Portuguese. Azulejos, or blue tiles popular in Portuguese culture, replace what once read the Herald News on the former newspaper building, now home to Potter's Printing on Picasset Street. At the street level there, what you see below is a collage of fabrics or fabric patterns that used to be produced here in Fall River at the textile mills. Well, Fall River doesn't just have a manufacturing past, we have a manufacturing present. The Viva Murals Project, as it's called, is a collaboration between Viva Fall River, the Fall River Arts and Culture Coalition, and Beyond Walls, a nonprofit organization based in Lynn and focused on creating art in gateway cities. We've now done um, 120 uh, odd installations of different types. We've also got a fantastic um, funder in mass development. When you activate a space, it makes it safe and it also makes it vibrant. I think that small shift in how you feel about where you live or where you work or even just passing by it, that small shift added to others you create that ripple effect. Just a few blocks away at Dorn Elementary School on Fountain Street, this realistic painting of a little girl by Portuguese Canadian artist Kevin Lido comes alive. It symbolizes the deeper mission of Beyond Walls through the nonprofit One Blue Sky. And the idea is connecting people who have different realities um, to help them bring to them, help bring the children to the understanding that we're actually a lot more similar than we are different. And students from this Fall River summer camp at the school will connect with summer camp students at a school in Tierra Bomba, Colombia in South America. They send videos back and forth. The students will finish Lido's design by adding their own marks to the painting on the bottom, truly taking ownership of this art. In Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.